Guys, what is going on? My name is Nova, and welcome back to Super Tux Cart. Now, when we left off, we completed the little Mushroom Village starter area. We completed the Mountain Zone over in this back left corner here. And now we're ready to move on to um, this next area, which I have gone through and I did do quick little test runs of these courses. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the, uh, the Desert slash Tropical Zone, just because I remember when I first played this game, in I think it was 2010 on uh, Ubuntu back when it was 12.01 or something like that. Uh, one of the first levels I played was uh, this one in particular actually, the Vulcan Island. It wasn't actually named the Vulcan Island at that time, it was just called Loop Land. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start with that. We're going to continue our intermediate run and as we progress through the game I will probably be going back, probably in my free time, to uh, complete on on, uh, I guess, Expert and then Super Tux as, as the game kind of progresses. I don't want, I don't feel like I have the skills to do it at the moment, so I'm going to wait until I am skilled enough to do it. That way I don't get in over my head and make videos that are just uncomfortably long and hard to watch. Um, apologies in advance if you can hear um, a fan in the background. I have it turned off right now, but I will be turning it on in a moment because it is over 100 degrees where I'm at right now. So naturally I do want to uh, turn the fan on because it's super hot. Um, so hopefully that doesn't bother you guys. When I was doing my sound test earlier, it wasn't too bad. Um, but hopefully, you know, I will be turning it back on and hopefully that's not a big distraction or too much of an audio nightmare for you guys. Um, it's also going to be a little bit different sound-wise because I do have the windows open again because it's over 100 degrees where I'm at right now And I don't personally uh, Care to record in over 100 degrees in, my, in the little box that is my truck So I uh, hopefully you guys can understand I did want to leave it off at least for this first video so that the introduction could be a cleaner but anyways um, I've been pretty excited to play this game, especially now that I'm able to play it with a, uh, with a controller. It does make it a lot better, and I hope that the graphic upgrade that I did in the settings of turning that up a little bit was nice for you guys. Uh, the only struggle with it for me is on certain courses, uh, it is quite dark, so sometimes it can be a little bit difficult for me to see where I'm going, especially on courses like... Uh, the Night Rave, Night Home, or Raven Home, whatever it's called, the uh, Haunted House level, or uh, there's a space level that's that's pretty, you're in like a space facility of some form, um, and that one's quite dark as well. Um, and, you know, turning up the graphic settings, adding all the shadows and things like that does make it a little harder to see, um, but my main concern with turning up the graphics, I, I can figure out, you know, I can just record later in the day when it's darker to get around the screen being darker, but um, the main concern I have with it is I don't want it to lag, so I, I'm hoping that this three setting, three out of six, hopefully that looks good enough that you guys are happy with it, and also my phone seems to be handling it quite well, so hopefully it's a good medium. Anyways, I'll stop talking about that, nobody cares. Um, I do also have, in case you're wondering, I do have another after video in the works, I've just found that I've kind of already gone through all the good games on the Afteroid market, or Afteroid store, I guess, um, and Afteroid is actually apparently having a new policy change, which will be affecting um, the apps that they do allow on their platform. A lot of people are upset because they, they deem it to be um, more controlling than, than the game, or than the uh, platform already is. It's kind of taking away some of the open source nature of it, is what they're claiming. Um, but Really, from my understanding, what they're trying to do, we're going to be jumping into shifting sands here. Um, what, what, what is this a time trial? Okay, so we're just doing a time trial. That's neat. It's kind of a neat, uh, neat way to mix it up. I'm a fan. Um, yeah, but they're having a little bit of a policy change. I guess we only get three boosts. There's no items on the course. Oh no, we get, we get a little bit of mouse, it's okay. Um, yeah, but they, they are doing a policy change with their store and they're essentially trying to take apps that work with sites that do um, hate groups and things of that nature 
um, things. I can't remember the name of it specifically, but it's it's called like uh, I want to say it was like uh, FedLib News or something. That was one of the apps that they hosted on their platform. Um, it was deemed to be kind of a kind of a forum for you know white supremacists and people of that sort and. So what they're attempting to do is take down apps like that. A lot of people are pretty upset about it. I think it's a good change, um, and I, I do understand where people are coming from, saying that if you're if you're taking these open source applications and you're limiting them based on you know politics, that is kind of taking away from the free open source nature of the platform. But I don't think that policing you know, things of that nature necessarily infringes on anybody's rights. Um, I mean, I guess technically a little bit, but I think that trying to take hate speech off of your platform is more of a positive than a negative for the few people that will be missing out on that application. Um, and that is part of the reason that the uh, the F-Roid videos have slowed down is because of that policy change. They are uh, kind of freezing their... They're, they're freezing the uh, platform for a little bit while they get, they're at least freezing new applications and updates for a little bit while they get that sort of thing sorted. Um, luckily things like RetroArch, which I'm using to play through, um, th I'm using to play through Final Fantasy right now and I was playing Pokemon on it. Um, those are through a different repository entirely, so those are updated independently of Ethroid, so things like that will continue to be updated, but that does mean that if um, Tuxcart did have another update, which I don't believe it would, I, I haven't heard anything uh, that would be insinuating updates. Um, but if they did, that would be frozen right now. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And this level here is actually the tutorial level. Um, the, what is that? Hacienda? Hacienda? Um, this, this course is actually from the tutorial. So it's kind of neat coming back here. Um, I, I'm a big fan of this course. I think it's a very good course. And I like that they use it for the tutorial. I think it's a pretty good balanced course. Those used to explode when you hit them. I know when this game was still pre 1.0, they had this whole thing of if you hit those barrels, they explode. And they got rid of that. And it kind of makes me disappointed a little bit. But what are you going to do? Um, so yeah, I, I just wanted to put that as a note as to why, you know, I mentioned in the last video, which was at this point several days ago, that I would be um, posting a new video on Ftroid apps. And then they had this big update about, you know, changing a lot of their policies and freezing app updates until their policies are fully implemented across the store. So I just wanted to make sure you guys stayed informed on why there might be delays. Um, and I know this probably isn't the isn't the discussion you wanted during a racing game. I apologize about that. I just, you know, thinking about it now, I want to get it out while it's on my mind. I feel like, you know, by the time I finish playing this game, I'm going to have forgotten about it. I just read the post about it just a couple minutes ago before I started recording. So I figured while it was fresh on my mind, I would go ahead and play it. Oh, and I missed the uh, power-ups. That's cool. It's okay, we still have one whole lap to beat this guy. Um, they do have rubber banding AI in this game, which if you don't know what that is, rubber banding AI is essentially um, where the AI, they always have at least one AI it is always, you know, always capable of catching you. It's always right on your heels in order to make sure you can't just destroy the competition. I don't know how much it's implemented in intermediate, but I do know that it is a thing that is a part of this game, so I guess you know, something to keep in mind as far as the, uh, you know, the way the AI kind of catches you. How did that miss? Oh my god. That's, that's going to be huge for him. Oh my god, yep, I lost. Well, yeah, I just lost. Let's do that again. What? Oh, I'm back at the hub world. Okay, I was very confused. But yeah, that, that last 
the fact that I missed that cupcake totally screwed that over for me. So hopefully we can uh, not get screwed over by that. Oh, we actually have one of the other DLC cards, a couple of them, in here, which you know, we don't get to see as often as I think we should. Um, so I'm, I'm excited that we have uh, both Python and Ubuntu. Granted, an outdated Ubuntu, but Ubuntu nonetheless, you know, as a part of as a part of this race. So one thing I really like about this game is, um, you know, the ability to add so freely and quickly um, new custom content. You just have to have Blender, which is just an open source, like a 3D rendering app. You will use it to uh, make like animations and movies. It's actually something that uh, Pixar based their they're now proprietary animation software off of. They based it off of Blender, which I thought was pretty cool. But the fact that, you know, it uses a... I guess it makes sense that it's a free open source program that you use to make, um, you know, mods for this game. It makes sense, because the game itself is free and open source. And I do... Uh, I heard something about they're trying to implement... Um, they're trying to implement, essentially... God, I did that really poorly. That was a bad move. It's okay. I'm so far ahead, I don't think they're going to catch me. Um, yeah, but essentially they... Um, it's like... They've set it up now. I believe they're working on a different program to, uh, to do the modding so that it's its own sort of deal. That way, if you don't have experience in Blender, you can still jump into this program and have at least, you know, base models to work with, um, whereas Blender just gives you a blank canvas and is like, here you go, figure it out. Um, so I do think that's kind of cool, and again, that will be based on Blender, just like Pixar's is, but I do think it's cool that a program that I've used to make many terrible YouTube intro cards, um, you know, and weird little animations, and you can make 2D animations in it too, it's just, its main feature is, uh, is the 3D stuff that it can do. Um, but it's cool to me that a program that I've used for, again, animations and I've even, you know, used it to add some cool renders to a picture, add some lighting effects and things like that. Um, it's cool to me that that got picked up by Pixar and was used for several years by Pixar and then they revealed that they had been using open source software that they were turning into their own. And from what I've heard from one of my friends that does do animation, um, that has done stuff with Pixar. They just did like a small, short animatic kind of thing. Um, but they did say that they found uh, they found that a lot of the features were pretty much unchanged. I'm still not sure why. Did I not finish this one? Did I not get a? I guess I didn't. Required time is. 310 and I got over that so I think that's the problem um yeah no but that, that was just kind of an interesting side thing sorry that took so long for me to explain getting a little sidetracked I wonder why I thought we beat it before the time limit I thought we beat it in like three minutes or something that we had 15 seconds to spare or something like that um, but apparently not. Um, not sure what the deal was. But we can complete this course again. Uh, yeah, but no, sorry that this is becoming me rambling about other series and other products. I should be talking about the game. Um, I just feel like, personally for me, the only issue that I guess I would say I have with Super Tux Guard is they only have... I don't know, probably 15 levels, which is, you know, not a bad amount, but, you know, I feel like there should be an option, you know, if they have all this custom content that's freely and openly available for everybody, I think they should make it something you can host in servers online. You know, when you play online with your friends, if you do host a server, I think there should be an option to, uh, to you know, have them download an add-on course so that you can both play a new course because I've found it with the friend that I play with we've now played every single one of the courses that they have in the base game and 
you know, it's it's a little bit disappointing that, you know, there's all this add-on content that exists and we can't use it as a group. I'm sure there's a way. Um, I just think that they should probably, I, I would like to see, I mean, maybe they're planning on this, but I think it would be cool to see an implementation of it uh, in, uh, in in the main game, just through the through the server menu. I think it would be nice to do, you know, require players to download add-on content to use it. So if, you know, the host downloads a custom character or custom map, it just kind of makes the, uh, I guess, the visiting players download the same mods so that everybody can have the same experience. I think that would be, I don't know how difficult that would be to implement, but I do think that would add a lot to this game, at least for the multiplayer side of it. It's, you know, it's a racing game. You want to play it with your friends. So yeah, let's see why I didn't see I'm beating it with over 30 seconds left. Yeah, so why is that not completing? Do you like have to complete that one? Or, sorry, the temple. Do you have to complete this one with... Nitro Challenge. I wish it would explain to you what the Nitro Challenge was. Required Nitro Points, 15. Okay, so you have to complete the laps in that certain speed without okay I understand I understand what I was doing wrong here it was me not understanding the game essentially they want you to go around and collect as much nitros as you can I take it they want you to fill up the nitro meter that blue part um, so maybe that's where I was failing I was confused because it was like oh yeah you have to finish it in a certain amount of time but I guess you can't use nitro so you just have to use drift boosts instead of nitro Maybe that's what they're trying to get across, is drift boosting. Which I'm totally cool with, now that I understand that that's what they're looking for. I just did not know that, so... I'm, that's probably why they gave you three boosts. Okay, so just do not use nitro, whatever you do, it's fine. I guess we just have to collect like three canisters or five canisters a lap, which I've already failed at. I've only collected four this lap, so I have to collect like six. But anyways, um, now that I understand what we're doing, okay, we have to complete this level. I didn't mean to use that. Well, I wonder if collecting the nitro is like increasing your time. I don't know. This next lap I'm going to take it a little bit slower and really make sure I get as much nitro as I can get. Because I have time. Probably should have read the instructions before doing this twice and failing both times. But yeah, no, sorry this has been a little bit of a strange episode as far as discussions during. Um, again, it's more me just trying to get my thoughts out while they're fresh. Oh my god, that's bad. It's very bad. How many more nitro cans do I have to collect until I finish this? I'm still going to complete this with plenty of time. I'm not worried about that. I just wish I knew how many nitro canisters I'd collected. Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna complete a skin of our teeth. But now that we understand what the hell we're supposed to do, 
can actually complete the level, so that's nice. Finish the race. Did I actually win? You completed a challenge. Okay, so that was the deal. Was you had to complete it with with the required amount of nitro gathered. Okay. Well, apologies for that. Sorry that was bad and slow and weird. Um, but I think we're going to go ahead and end this video here now that we've completed the desert slash tropical section. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and uh, I will see you guys.